I think that this provides a tremendous amount of leverage to work on a very important, prominent problem in our downtown. That's St. Augustine Mayor Nancy Sykes-Klein at Monday's City Commission meeting. Liz Ryan has more on our top story. You see it every time you go downtown. Homelessness has become an inescapable problem. But at the commissioner's meeting, there was a step forward. They entered into a land swap agreement, trading 800 Plantation Island Drive for 90 and 92 South Dixie Highway. Retired police chief and now homeless liaison for the city, Barry Fox, told me what's coming to the South Dixie Highway location. The vision is to create a drop-in center where the service providers can, can be brought to that center. In the city, it wants to provide showers, mail, and laundry, basic hygiene needs, so that we can help them find jobs. The property is behind the Wind dixie Plaza. What's there right now? There is a building there in the plan right now is to rehab that particular building and moving dining with dignity there and providing a rain cover and some tables so that we can continue to support Home Against St. John's efforts in the Dining with Dignity program there. Efforts like these are nothing new to Barry Fox. The City of St. Augustine Police Department and the City of St. Augustine has run a family reunification program for the 30 years that I was involved in law enforcement here. So, you know, these efforts have been going on for decades. It's just that people don't understand that the problem is riddled with so many different facets, the primary one being mental health. And that's a very difficult hurdle to overcome for the homeless because they need constant wraparound services. And that's what we need to do is provide a place where we can get those services wrapped around them. We'll follow this project as it develops. For St. Augustine's Local Morning News, I'm Liz Ryan. This local news is a service of your hometown Toyota dealer. Beaver Toyota, US 1, St. Augustine, here to wow you. A man with decades of aviation experience will now serve as executive director of the Northeast Florida Regional Airport. After previous interim director Kevin Harvey resigned abruptly, the board appointed Jamie Topp to the position Monday. Well, I think the thing to do is to continue supporting the board of directors with their path and providing all our associates here at the airport, people that work out mowing the grass and doing all that, plus the administrative staff that's here with all the tools they need to be to successfully prosecute the desires of the board of directors. Tom says he's likely not interested in the job full-time and a national search for a full-time executive director is already underway. I would say we're probably two to three months out from hiring a permanent person. But when it comes down to the question everyone is dying to know the answer to, will a commercial airline be coming to the airport? Yes. Yes and yes, and that's actually my next phone call after I hang up to talk to the airline. Top wouldn't release details on what airline they're talking to. The airport was in talks with Avello in March, but the deal didn't go through at that time. With St. Augustine's Local Morning News, I'm Amy Sherry. There's a plan being unveiled for the old Villano Beach Pizza Hut. The old Villano Beach Pizza Hut has stood empty for quite a few years, and today at 5 p.m., property developer Rick Johnston will be presenting the development plans to the community. The presentation will also give the community an opportunity to offer feedback in the process. The meeting will be held at North Shores Community Center at 120 Meadow Avenue. There will be refreshments, too. For St. Augustine's Local Morning News, I'm Karen Johnson. And now you're up to date with St. Augustine's local morning news. I'm Rich Carroll.